are one of those people who visited the recent auto expo in Delhi, you might have seen this car. This is the all new, new generation BMW X3, which the brand showcased on their stands. And now we have got our hands onto this particular vehicle. And let us start by saying that uh, a lot has changed with the new X3. Here we are all set to tell you what those changes are and whether they make this car really, really important for this particular market segment. Externally, the X3 resembles its bigger brother, the X5, rather closely. At certain angles, and if you look close enough, it is hard to decipher which is which. What gives the plot away up front are the new and larger kidney grille and the bolder double barrel headlamp panels. The front bumper is new and comes with redesigned fog lamp recesses. This latest design executed by Mark Michael Markevka, head of design mid-size class, BMW automobiles, looks sharper and sporty as compared to the simple round elements in the earlier variants. In profile, the X3 flaunts clean lines and comes across as a sleek ride with a dash of sportiness that gives the SUV a no-nonsense character. Let me start by showing you something which is rather unique with this car. This is the connected key. So remotely, you can control various elements of the car. So for example, you can lock and unlock the doors. You can check various information about the car, like you can see here, engine oil, vehicle check, brake fluid, etc. And then you can understand what is the kind of range the car can give you right at the moment. This is real-time data. And you can also switch on your air conditioner on the go. So before you get to your car, your car is already cool. Now that's about the remote key. We shall safely park it inside the car. And now let's get on with what all the X3 offers. The new X3 is based on BMW's new Clark platform, which has seen considerable stiffening and also uses lightweight materials, aluminium, particularly used in the doors and the bonnet. This has resulted in the X3 shedding a considerable amount of weight. Dimensions reveal that the new X3 is longer, wider and a couple of millimetres taller than the outgoing model. The new X3 sits comfortable on a 2864mm wheelbase, which is 54mm longer than the outgoing generation. Now, what we are aiming to do is to show you how this car performs in all sorts of traffic. So we are here in the morning, office rush hour. You can see all the cars are getting parked right now and uh, there's a lot of congestion ahead. So what I have done is put this car in Eco Pro mode. Now, as you can see from my display here, it's changed into blue and the whole idea is to make it as efficient as possible. So during this time, what is happening is the car is very, very docile. It doesn't, the engine is purring very smoothly. And at the same time, every time I brake, the auto start stop comes into action. It's a by default mode. What I really like is the way the instrument panel is working. As you can see on this dial right here, over the past few kilometers which I have driven, I have already enhanced the mileage by 1.2 kilometers per liter. So that is uh, an excellent uh, way of judging that yes, you are driving in an economical way. But the next best thing about this car is that it's not always that you want to drive economically. You want to go faster, you want to be more comfortable. You don't want to think about efficiency all the time. So BMW has given another button for that mode. As you can see, it says comfort. So when I press the comfort button, 
everything on the instrument panel changes. The dials have changed from blue to a very nice soothing display. Now this is when you are driving, you're on the highway, you're cruising down the road and I'm, as you can see I'm doing about 80 kilometers an hour, I'm barely using any power and torque and I just want to get to my destination. So it's very nice uh, to be coasting around in comfort mode. Yes, there is a slight difference in the engine feel from Eco to Comfort. I could immediately feel that the revs were slightly higher so that the car is ready most of the time. So in case I need to do an overtake, like now, all I need to do is just press the accelerator and without the need of changing through the gearbox, the car just gains speed. It's effortless driving this car on the highway and suddenly I am at 100 kilometers an hour. Once in sport mode, there is a noticeable difference in acceleration and the revs hold on much higher and this also means that the noise from the motor starts to trickle into the cabin. The paddle shifters add to the overall fun of driving. Another factor that stands out is the ride quality and handling. There is little body roll to complain about and the SUV sticks to its lines even when cornered hard. The steering setup chips in too and helps in adding to the fun. This also means that the new X3 sticks to its roots of being fun to drive. The new X3 comes with a brand new multimedia system and what it does is it adds to the excitement of driving. Now why I am showing this whole system on the move is because it tells you how you drive and what you are doing. So as you can see this is a touch interface. You can press the button and it goes into action. You can also operate using the toggle button. Now I particularly like this technology in action section. Why? Because it tells you how you are driving and what is the thing that you need to improve on. There are various ways which you can check your driving. Like as you can see the power is being sent where um, there's very little energy being used. Overall, the new X3 has gone through truly a substantial metamorphosis. This also means that the new X3 will offer a good fight to the competition.